Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. An alleged gunman's been captured by police, accused of threatening a woman southwest of Brisbane. The struggle at Ipswich was apparently sparked by a... Uh, an, uh, <laughs> Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. An alleged gunman's been captured by police accused of threatening a woman southwest of Brisbane. The struggle at Ipswich was apparently sparked by an altercation over a backpack. Witnesses say shots were fired into the air before the man ran off. He was eventually tracked down by the officers in nearby bushland. Reporter Andrea Crothers says he's been charged to face court today. On six charges, they include weapons offences, uh, discharging a firearm in a public place, using a weapon to cause fear and domestic violence. Two women are dead and seven other people in hospital after a horror crash south of Adelaide. A truck, two sedans and a ute collided at Wattle Flat. Detectives have charged the 35-year-old truck driver with dangerous driving offences. A search will resume today for an 11-year-old boy who was swept into the ocean off the New South Wales central coast. A multi-agency search yesterday failed to locate the child who's now been missing for more than 36 hours. A $600 million plan has been unveiled to recruit and retain defence personnel. A $50,000 bonus for junior staff who agree to serve another three years will be reduced to $40,000. But eligibility will be expanded to include more experienced ADF members. Veterans Affairs Minister Matt Keogh says they're hoping to improve the culture and boost numbers. So what the workforce plan outlines is the work that we are doing to increase applications for people applying to defence, improving the process process for applicants coming through into the ADF workforce as well as retention initiatives. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Captain Pat Cummins has saved Australia with the bat, beating Pakistan in their first one-day international by a thrilling two wickets. Cummins scored 32 not out. And it's Melbourne Cup day. Vauban and Buckaroo are joint favourites. Geelong Cup winner, one smooth operator, has been given the all-clear after the seven-year-old lost his footing during a water session at Altona Beach. There will be a record four female jockeys in the field and 90,000 punters are expected to flock to Flemington in their finery. In entertainment news, there will be plenty of famous faces in the birdcage for Melbourne Cup Day. Elizabeth Hurley and her son Damien will be in attendance, along with Irish singer-songwriter Sir Bob Geldof and UFC featherweight Alex Volkanovsky. And American music titan Quincy Jones has died at the age of 91. His publicist says he died on Sunday at his family home in LA, surrounded by his family. Jones had a huge influence on American music, working with artists ranging from Frank Sinatra to Michael Jackson. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.